Why, hello there. So, I have myself a box here, and this is the new transmitter for our booster at Prado. So, finally, after like five months of waiting for this thing to get here, it's finally here. Let's open it up. Mm. Wow, so small and light. All kinds of stuff here. Um, so here's the transmitter. This is the Gates Air Fax 50. This is a very small transmitter. Um, and it's for our booster because our booster is very, very, very low power. And so, hmm, I will admit, I am a fan of Nautel. But Nautel at the time didn't have anything this low of power. So this fits right where I need it to, depth-wise, size-wise, and power-wise. Now in that time, Nautel came out with their new VX line and well, oh well, too late. I now have this. So I'm excited to, to, to give this a whirl. It's got all kinds of different things. I mean, look, there's an ethernet port on the front. This is exciting. I'm, I'm excited to, to get into this and, and try something new out. So uh, this will be perfect fit. Um, it comes with a lot more stuff than I expected it to. Power, I mean, you need to have power. This appears to be for remote control, which is going to be important. We've got a startup guide. Comes with my test data. And this is all very important proving that this transmitter is putting out the power that it should. Basically, this is stuff from the factory. So if for some reason I need to go back and look at this transmitter, I can look back on the factory data and see if something is out of, uh, out of spec. Thank you, Sean Mullaney, for testing my transmitter. Uh, we've got the, looks like a manual, an actual printed manual got me interested is oh. so yeah um, I would show this to you but it does say on here this document contains proprietary data no disclosure reproduction or use any part thereof may be made but basically what this big book is is a book of diagrams and the drawings of what every single part inside this transmitter does. So, very cool. All right, so that's the unboxing of this bad boy. You know, I was thinking though, um, I should probably take a look at the startup manual or the startup guide and uh, maybe a little bit of the manual. So uh, let, me, let me move some things around here. For the safety of externally connected equipment, this transmitter has been set to zero watts RF output at the factory. Good. Okay. I have cable here. I have the instructions. Well, at least my, my pin out, and I have a connector. All right, this guy's warming up. So what I need to do is solder this connector, uh, which is going to be the remote control connector for the new transmitter. I, I really would like to have this uh, hooked into my remote control. So having this, uh, hooked in the remote control allows me to, um, well, remotely control the transmitter. I need to get this soldered in. I have all of the pinouts here on the manual. Safety is always important. Safety glasses when doing this. Oh man. Can't imagine getting solder in my eye. Oh, that'd be so terrible. Getting some solder in here 
to uh, just kind of make it easier so when I actually solder the wire on there, it's a little bit easier for me just to stick the wire. That I'm going to tin these wires here in a minute. Stick the tinned wire and just use the solder that's in the cup and on the wire to make that connection. Oh, it's getting warm. So I'm trying to hold it there in place as the solder cools at a good rate, because if it cools too fast, you get that cold solder joint. But if it cools at a good rate, then it'll harden together. Uh, let's see. Okay. And now we have our remote control connector. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I forgot about that. <clears throat> well, I didn't really forget, but it was just like, I, I don't know. Soldering is not my favorite thing to do. Mostly because I tend to burn myself, surprisingly, burn free. Although it did get close. Um, let's cut myself here. Plenty of cable one. Should be more than enough. All right, let's clean all this up. Let the uh, let the iron cool down. Uh, actually, put this over here with the transmitter. Put the manual back with the transmitter. Uh, I'll pack that up in the box. We will get going here in just a moment. All right, let me go clean up now. Hi, it's, it's me. Sorry to interrupt. I gotta tell you about something. So there's this company called Angry Audio and they're partially sponsoring this video, but they have one of the coolest devices I've ever seen. Yes, they make headphone amplifiers. Yes, they make um, talent things and buttons and interfaces and whatnot. All that's really cool, all that's really great. But I think one of the coolest things is this, the headphone disconnector. It's a magnetic quick disconnect for your headphones. They have versions in quarter inch and eighth inch. And you know, sometimes you're rocking out to the tunes, you've got your headphones on and you forget and you stand up quickly and you move away or you roll away. And either everything that was on the counter on the table comes crashing down because your headphones are still on and you just pulled it all away. Or your head doesn't move when the rest of your body moves because your headphones are holding your head still while your body moves in the other direction. So the quick disconnect will solve that. Let's say you're rocking it out and you forget to unplug your headphones and you move away. It just, the magnetic disconnects and away you go. It reconnects up, really simple. Just two magnets, boom, and that's it. So check it out, the headphone disconnector, angryaudio.com, and uh, yeah, it is a really cool device. Thank you, Angry Audio, for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. And uh, for you, check this out, headphone disconnector, angryaudio.com. Pretty cool. All right, that's it. Back to your normally scheduled video. We're out at Prado and uh, I have the box open here. And I have the transmitter ready to go. So the old transmitter is just unplugged. I just unplugged it right now. Um, but now what we need to do is remove that old transmitter, undo all the connections, pull it out of the rack, put the new one in the rack and uh, start making all these connections and configurations. And hopefully, 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 we can get out of here before it gets too warm. Because it's getting really warm out here right now. Uh. All right, let's pull it out from the front. This might be a little bit easier than I expected. Because remember, uh, if you remember, I put this little transmitter on a uh, on the little rack shell unit thing. So. All the pieces unplugged. Yep. Okay. Good.
is that since we were using a larger transmitter prior to this, we had this little uh, this little pad, and uh, Tom, uh, I can get this back to you now. Thank you. Okay, I've got my network uh, IP address stuff configured on here now. Uh, now I need to actually get it connected into the network. Uh, once I do that, get my remote control connected, my relays and analog, and then we should be good to go. All right, Cisco, no shut. Which means no shutdown, which means turn on that port on the network switch for the transmitter. Okay, so I have the cable that we just soldered back at the office. I do need to have a good amount of taking the jacket off of this. So that way I can... It's hot out here. It's humid. Brain's just not wanting to uh, work today. Enough. They get a good, uh, good electrical connection in the remote control Phoenix connector, and that's in case you're an engineer and you ever want to know, and you have like a Burke trans or Burke remote control, and you wonder what that connector is, Phoenix. All right, cables are stripped back. Soldered on this end. So now what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, you're coming along with me, so I guess we. Uh, we're gonna connect this to the transmitter, we're gonna connect this to the remote control. Actually, I'm gonna connect this to the remote control first, and then this to the transmitter, just in case. We don't want it to start transmitting and me not be ready for it. It's always good to be ready. Surprises, surprises are good for birthdays and winning the lottery. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's go. So, it wasn't working because uh, I had my composite plugged into the wrong port in the back. The labels are offset and I had put it in the wrong one. So, all right. So, the transmitter is on, it appears to be happy. All right, let's start the truck. Let's get a little bit of air conditioning moving too. It is hot out there. All right, audio, Ooh, that's loud. Hey, there it is, station's on. That's great. Ah, finally was able to get this resolved because the other transmitter was going up and down and up and down at random times. I think it had something to do with temperature and anyways. So uh, now that we have a new transmitter in there, we can get the other one replaced and have that as a backup. Uh, but I like this new Gates Air transmitter. Is it enough for me to abandon all my Nautels? I don't think so. But, you know, hey, as another option, Gates, I, I'm happy with it. I approve. Anyways, all right, let's get things cleaned up and uh, let's do a little bit of drive testing uh, just to make sure that everything is good. And then we can uh, head out of here and go home. That was successful, that was great. Uh, now the only thing left to do is uh, get the remote control configured so that way uh, I can use the remote control to actually make changes and stuff like that. And to bring it into the uh, autopilot system so I can keep track of trends, of power, of reflected power, and status, and all that fun stuff. Everything's configured. Uh, the transmitter's happy. We're outputting RF. Uh, it's connected into the remote control. I do have a little bit of issue with my relays. I'll deal with that another time. It's getting way too hot out here. Um, but I can still log into the web GUI of the transmitter and control it that way if I need to. But I'm able to see all my telemetry, forward power, my reflected power, my transmitter on-off status, 
from the remote control, so that's a very, very good thing. And I think I got, I think I got everything that I need. Transmitter on, off status. Yeah. This makes me very, very happy. Oh, man, it is bright out here. It is hot out here. I am, I am ready to go back into air conditioning. So that's it, new transmitter's in. I'm gonna go take a test drive uh, up and down a little bit of the 91 freeway, but uh, that's about it for right now for here at Prado Dam. And you know, I'm so excited to have this new transmitter in. So happy, finally, this site can be put to rest for a little bit of time. And I can focus my attention on another site like Santiago, and then beyond that, Palomar. Yeah, anyways. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, thanks for being a part of this channel. I appreciate you, and until then, until uh, the next video, stay safe and stay healthy.